Hi there and welcome to the new episode of TypeScript Design Patterns and today we're going to discuss the Builder Pattern. So um, when we look at the definition of the Builder Pattern we see that it says separate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction process can create different representations. And um, when we look at the UML class diagram, we will notice that we have a uh, director, which uh, has a method called construct, and we pass in a builder object to actually do the construction for us. And builder is an abstract class. And we then can create concrete builders for for example, several parts to build several parts of a eventual product. Um, this is a somewhat complex version of the builder pattern where we indeed use different builders for different parts of a product. So um, when you think of a vehicle, in our example here, uh, a vehicle always has a frame, it always has an engine, it will always have wheels and uh, it might have doors. And uh, in this case, we create a builder for a scooter, uh, for a motorcycle and for a car. But you also have much simpler versions of the builder pattern when we think, for example, of a connection string builder. A connection string is composed from different uh, parts and instead of you having to uh, define this complete uh, string you specify you build your connection string based from these little parts and the eventual results will be a complete connection string so uh, you also have simpler versions of the builder pattern. But today uh, I'm going to use a sample from the two factory pattern where we build a vehicle. So um, of course we've created some sample code and let's walk through the code. Let's go to Visual Studio, go to the builder pattern. Here we are, let's open it up. So what we see here is we have a shop, okay? And the shop has a public method construct uh, and also a method to show the vehicle that is eventually uh, has been constructed. And we also, in this construct method, we pass in a vehicle builder and vehicle builder is an abstract class. So the abstract class defined here, vehicle builder. And this vehicle builder has several methods, uh, get the vehicle uh, to return the vehicle, but we built the frame, we built the engine, we built the wheels and we built the doors. In TypeScript, we do not have uh, there's no existence of real abstract classes. So in this case, uh, I always throw an error, not implemented yet. So, but this is our abstract class, a vehicle builder. And when we look uh, at, for example, a car builder, which extends vehicle builder, it will add parts to its vehicle. So the car builder will uh, add a frame. What type of frame? A car frame. When the car builder builds an engine, it adds an engine with uh, 2,500 cc's. When the car builder builds wheels, it will add four wheels. And when it builds doors, it will add four doors. So that's our car builder. When we then look at our motorcycle builder, it looks exactly the same because it extends vehicle builder, but we have to implement these methods. When it builds a frame, it will return a motorcycle frame for the engine, a 500cc engine, and for wheels, it returns two, and of course, has no doors. And we have to same type of builder for a scooter. A scooter returns a scooter frame, 50 cc's, two wheels, and no doors. So that is actually the basics. Of course, the vehicle class have some parts which are added by these builders. So uh, the rest of these classes are there to aid in creating a vehicle. Those are not that interesting. You can have a look at the code yourself if you want. So when we then load our uh, window, we create a new shop and we ask the shop to construct a vehicle by using the scooter builder. And then we show the vehicle, we output it to the page. Then we ask the shop to construct a new car by passing it the car builder. And then we ask the shop to construct a new vehicle by using the motorcycle builder. And based on that, we get different results. So when we indeed look at the results, 
over here you see that the output is let's scroll down when we call construct scooter build and show the vehicle we get a scooter with a scooter frame with a 50cc engine two wheels and no doors and here we see the car and here we see the motorcycle so the builder pattern is actually a very uh, simple pattern to use uh, you can easily extend this uh, builder pattern so if you need another type of vehicle uh, all you have to do is create that new vehicle builder which extends the uh, builder so that is the builder pattern